In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Khan Academy style educational video using an application called Sketchbook. Now you will need some type of drawing tablet. It doesn't have to be expensive, but you really need a more precise tool than a mouse in order to get that natural hand drawn or handwritten feel. So let's download Sketchbook. That's a free application that I really like to use quite a bit. So I'm just going to type in right here, sketchbook. And right here at the top, I can see it says Autodesk Sketchbook. That's the application that I want. So I'll click on that. It says sketchbook goes free. All right. So all we have to do is click on this download button right here. So then I'm just going to click on that tab to open up the downloaded file. I'm going to double click on the file right here and then I'll press continue. There's a readme file here that you're supposed to read all the way through. I've read through it already in the past. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. I'll hit continue again on the license agreement. I'll hit agree again. It's asking me where I want to install it. I'm going to install it on the hard drive. So I'll press install and then I need to type in my password. And then finally hit install software. All right, so the installation was successful. So I'll close this and I'll move that file to the trash. I'm gonna go down to my finder and I'm gonna click on applications. From here, I'm gonna select the Autodesk folder. And then I'm gonna go over here to sketchbook. And here is the application that I'm gonna use. I like to have a shortcut for this application, so I'm just going to drag it down to the dock and leave it right there. And I'll close this finder window. I'll go ahead and just open up Sketchbook. So here we have the default layout in Sketchbook. And what I want to do is resize this big white canvas. Okay, so I'm going to go to the corner down here. You can actually click on any corner. Um, and resize this window, okay? So this canvas right here, I just want to place this in the middle of the screen. And I want to take the brush palette, move it off of the canvas. I'll take the toolbar, move this off the canvas. And to move these, you just click in this area right here on either side or at the top right here, you can click and drag to move that around. These two pucks right here, we're not going to use these. So I'm going to close them by pressing on this little circle on the top corner. Okay. Now down here, I don't want uh, the student to be able to see this either. So what I'm trying to do is I want to just show the student the whiteboard or the blackboard. I don't want them to see any of these other tools. I don't want them to be distracted by any of these other visuals. I want them to just focus on the content. So that's why I'm moving the toolbar and the brush palette outside of the canvas window. So I also want to get rid of the lagoon down here. So I'm going to right here in this area with all these little small dots right here, I'm going to press and hold. So I'll take my mouse or my pen. I'll click and hold down that button. And then I'm going to go to title bar only. And then I'm going to release the button. Okay. So now we just have this little circle right here. All right. So it's starting to look like just a blank whiteboard. So now I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up QuickTime. So QuickTime is now open. I'm going to select from the menu file and then new screen recording. All right. Now before in my last video, I was recording the entire screen with this option right here. Today we're going to record a selected portion. All right. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to click, hold, and drag. There are two numbers in the bottom right corner of my selection. And as I move it around, those numbers will change. This is the dimensions of our selection. Now I'm going to drag to a size of 1280 by 720 because that's the next size down from the complete full size of my monitor. So my monitor is 1920 by 1080. And I want the same aspect ratio. I want a 16 by 9 rectangle. I just want it to be smaller in size. So I want to pause for just one second. Now, if you don't know the size of your monitor, it's very easy to find out on a Mac. So go up to the Apple, click right here, and go to About This Mac. 
And then right here you have your overview and what you wanna do is click on displays. So here it says I have a GT191 and right here, this is the key number, it's a 1920 by 1080 monitor. So that's how I know that when I select that smaller space within the monitor, it should be 1280 by 720. Now if you have a larger monitor, you're going to click and drag a box that has more pixels in it. So for example, if you had a 5K iMac, you might drag the size of that window to 3840 by 2160, right? So you want to maintain the same shape, the same aspect ratio, 16 by nine. You just wanna go a little bit smaller. So for each computer, it's gonna be different. So depending on the size of your monitor, that will determine the size of that smaller window that you select when you begin to record the screen. All right, let's go back to our normal timeline. Now I know that's a little annoying to get that precise number right there. So what we're gonna do is in options, we're gonna choose remember last selection. And that way the next time that we choose this record select portion, it will give us this exact size. Let's go through some of our other options here. I'm gonna make sure I save my video to my desktop. You can save it to your documents or just save it to QuickTime, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna do desktop. Now I wanna select my, uh, first of all, you wanna plug in your Apple headphones for your iPhone or your AirPods. You wanna connect your AirPods. You wanna use that external microphone to record your audio. And I think that's all we need for setting up our options. So now we're ready to record. So I'm gonna press this record button right here. So I'll click on that. And now QuickTime is recording everything inside in this sort of brighter area. Anything out here is not being recorded. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this canvas right here and I actually don't wanna show these buttons here, the title, or this little disc right here. So I'm actually going to move this up and I'm gonna move it over so we don't see that either. So I'm gonna move that stuff so it's not visible and I'll just extend the canvas a little bit more down here, okay? So now it's only recording. The only thing it's recording is this white space on the canvas. I can still access the toolbar. I can still access the brush palette. So for example, I can take this paintbrush right here and I can draw on the screen right here. If I wanna get rid of that, I can delete by pressing the delete key. Let's say I wanna do a drawing tutorial. What I might do is uh, I might wanna have colors available. So I'll go up here to my Copic markers. And what I like to do is I like to drag some of my most used markers from these different tabs down to the custom palette set. So if I take a, a green color right here, I can drag that down and add that to the palette. So you also have a color wheel over here that you can use. So you can make it more saturated, less saturated. You can adjust the value lighter or darker, right? And then you can adjust the hue going around here. Okay, whatever you want. Uh, for, this per for this demo, I'm gonna use the Copic markers, okay? So for now, I'm gonna select black and I'm gonna do a little drawing demo, okay? So I've moved from the paintbrush here to the pencil right here, and I'm just gonna do a quick doodle, okay? So I'm gonna draw in a circle, another circle, and I'm gonna draw some cartoon eyes, and then I'll draw a nose, a little smile right here, and maybe a face. I'll put in like a hairline, and maybe some curly hair, right? and we've got a cartoon character. Just a quick little doodle. So if you're doing a drawing tutorial, the pencil and a white canvas looks great. Now what if you wanna do a math lesson, a Khan Academy style math lesson? Pretty simple to do. I'm gonna delete my text here. And the thing that you need to know is that Sketchbook allows you to use layers, right? So down here, or I might move the layers over here, right? Um, right here you have a background layer, so I can click on this little circle and I can select a different background color. I'll go to the bottom corner of the shape and now I have a black background that I can work with. I can change my color to any of these colors over here, right? 
So I have sort of like this coral color right here. And I can write, you know, 4 plus 4 equals 8. Now for this, I don't really want to use the pencil. For this, I'm going to use this paintbrush right here. So what I can do is, you can see over here, I'm drawing on layer 1. I can press delete, and I can write this again. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So you can do whatever type of math equations that you want. You can do any kind of drawings. You can even do, you know, an English lesson. You, you can set this up however you like. But this is an easy way for you to create that Khan Academy style video. So now when you're done, all you have to do is stop recording up here. And then what we'll do is I'll minimize sketchbook. So go to hide sketchbook right here. Here's my screen recording. Here's my video. You can see at the beginning here that it's not fully at the right length, right? You know, so we can fix that. And so here we have the whiteboard option. So you can see my drawing demo. And then we also have the blackboard option. And you can see right there. So as you can see, when you take your mouse away, there's no interface, there's no toolbar. There's no brush palette. None of that stuff is there. It's just the blackboard or just the whiteboard. So if you wanted to trim this, because you don't want, let's say, the, the beginning right here, what we could do is go to Edit, Trim, right? And then you can move this until you get that canvas positioned in the right area. And then you can press Trim. And now it doesn't have that section anymore at the beginning where we adjusted our canvas. So I can go to File, and I can go down to Save. We'll just save this to the desktop, and we'll just call this Edited Video. I'll hit Save. Let's say you wanted to trim it to just the math portion, right? Again, you can go up to Edit, and then Trim, and you can go all the way over to here where we start our math section. You can trim that, and then you have just the math portion right there. You could go to File, and then Save, and then we'll do this edited, this is edited video two. All right, I'll save that. So we'll close this window, and we go back to the desktop. You can see here's our original screen recording that has everything in it, right? The whole thing. Here's our second video that has it's trimmed off the beginning where we had the wrong canvas size, right? And then over here, we have our edited, just our math equation right here. All right. So that's how you can create a Khan Academy style video. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Sketchbook, I have a whole series of tutorials on YouTube. Go to YouTube and let's type intro to sketchbook. Okay, this is my channel right here, Mr. H. So you can click on that. There's like five or six videos introducing sketchbook, which is a great free application. Highly recommend it. If you want to take a deeper dive into that, that's available right there. All right, hope that was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.